Hello guys, and welcome back to Let's Coasters. Today we'll be ranking down all 10 of Six Flags St. Louis's roller coasters. Let's get straight to it. So, number 10, I think it's pretty obvious. The brand new Rookie Racer uh, is coming in 10th place. Um, it seems to have a fun audio track. It has a nice color scheme. Uh, and these modern Vacoma Jr. Uh, coasters are more interesting than you might think. Uh, maybe a tad more thrilling than you'd think. But they're still not anything big or special or extraordinary. Um, so I just had to give it 10th place because of how simple uh, the ride layout is. Uh, you don't really get a whole lot of forces on this ride. Moving into number nine, uh, we've got my least favorite wooden coaster ever. Um, it is the Boss. Uh, the Boss is, again, my least favorite wooden coaster ever. I rode it plenty of times on my visit, way too many. Um, and every ride I got, every different row, I never enjoyed it. I did ride it trimless, so maybe if it was trimmed, it'd be a little um, less... Uh, there'd be it'd be running less fast so maybe i would have enjoyed it a little more um, but either way the, the attraction is just far too rough for me to enjoy uh, in the front row it was manageable the back row i just felt like i was going to die and that is not um, how you want to ride a roller coaster uh, and number eight is going to be boomerang uh, it is a very repetitive uh, model and uh, you know as a short layout um, you see a lot of them out there i've ridden I think this is maybe my fifth boomerang that I've ridden. Um, so it's just not very special or unique. So I kind of had to just give it eighth place because while I did enjoy it and it wasn't too rough or painful or anything, it's just not unique at all uh, to Six Flags St. Louis. Um, moving on to number seven is the River King Mine Ride. Uh, I thought this was a really fun ride. It's got two lift hills. It's very long. Um, got some tunnels and interesting elements. It is very old uh, and I believe opened with the park. Um, so that's where I think that it kind of fell short is it's an older ride and it doesn't go very fast It's not very thrilling or anything, but I did really enjoy this attraction um, One of the better mine trains I've ridden um, and I enjoyed it over uh, You know Cedar Point's mine train. This was just a bunch of fun, but it's not anything crazy moving on to number six We've got Screaming Eagle. Um, it's not the smoothest wooden coaster in the world um, But I did really enjoy it it's got a really good layout, and there's a lot of airtime moments. They're not the best airtime moments, but it's got a lot of them. Uh, and for an older coaster, I thought it was a really enjoyable ride. Now we're getting to our top five. Um, I think, you know, if you heard this top five, you wouldn't think it's very strong. Um, but for a park of this size, I think these are five really fun and enjoyable coasters. And I really do like this park. So number five is going to be Pandemonium. Again, I think a lot of people would judge this ride. It is also cloned with, I would say, five or six uh, clones at various Six Flags parks. Um, but if you ride it uh, with just two people, especially heavier riders on one side of the train, um, it is especially fun and really thrilling. Just a crazy experience. Um, and on the day I was with my dad, my first visit, uh, we did that a ton, uh, or we did that a couple of times, and then, you know, like, he even had to tap out, because it's just, it's so crazy intense, and when I've been to this park, it's not usually very packed or busy, so that's something I definitely recommend trying, is putting both riders on one side if you can. It's overall just a really fun coaster, uh, very compact, uh, very thrilling, lots of spinning, a very fun ride. Uh, moving on to number four, this is one of the most hated coasters in this park, uh, and one of my unpopular opinions, and that's, I think Ninja is an enjoyable ride, and it's coming into number four for me. Um, well, it isn't the smoothest attraction, it's not, you know, as smooth as the rides above it on the list. Um, I am a fiend for these uh, old air loopers, uh, and this Aero Schwarzkopf Hybrid uh, is no exception. I really enjoyed this ride. I thought the theme was uh, somewhat interesting and kind of fit in the movie town area of the park. Um, I really liked uh, the unique elements. It's got a sidewinder, corkscrews, and it's a pretty forceful ride. Again, not as smooth as your modern coasters, but I didn't think it was as rough as a lot of riders have said in the past. Uh, you know, it wasn't as, uh, at all as bad as what I'd been told. Um, moving into number three, we've got Batman the Ride. Uh, Batman the Ride is a classic. Uh, it's a mirrored version from the original Six Flags Great America, which I've also ridden. I love that thing to death. 
and I loved this thing uh, just as much. I do think that original is slightly more forceful, um, but I think it's really interesting just being able to do kind of the mirrored version. Um, also very thrilling, all the elements hit, uh, and overall just really fun ride. It's a classic and will never disappoint. Number two, I've got Mr. Freeze in number two. Well, I thought Mr. Freeze was really fun, I just enjoy the number one coaster a little bit more. Uh, Mr. Freeze is a Premier Rides launch coaster, punching you at 70 miles per hour. Uh, it also features a top hat uh, and a spike before you do that whole layout uh, backwards, um, or sorry, forwards, because it's reverse blast. Um, I overall thought this was a really fun coaster, very forceful. Um, I was actually a fan of this DC theme. Um, I think this park did the DC theme right with the DC area, uh, and this coaster itself um, was kind of fitting with a warehouse, you know, kind of a destroyed looking area. I overall just thought that it was a great attraction and a great fit for the park. Um, but now we've got number one, my favorite coaster at Six Flags St. Louis, and that is American Thunder. Uh, American Thunder, while not that tall and not that fast, features many, many airtime moments. Maybe I'm just a GCI fan, but I thought this coaster was fantastic. I'm a fan of their other works, especially uh, Mystic Timbers at Kings Island. Um, I love the Millennium Flyer trains on this thing. It's like riding in a couch, and a couch that throwing you out of your seat constantly. Uh, this also has a lot of lateral moments, a lot of uh, forceful turns and transitions. So overall, just a really fun coaster. And you know, its compactness, its like its small size, I think made it even better. Uh, in this case. Um, so that's going to be my number one, American Thunder. Let me know what you think about my top 10. Uh, what does your top 10 look like? Uh, no judgment. We all have our own opinions, but that's going to be all for today. And I'll see you guys next time here on Lewis Coasters. Goodbye. Goodbye.